Hello everyone. Today is Wednesday, February 2nd, 2022, Nigeria. 32 people freed from kidnappers. This article is taken from the the uh, Togolese, I believe it's pronounced, uh, it said Togolese, uh, from the country of Togo, Togolese uh, newspaper, Isili Lome, Isi Lome, excuse me, Isi Lome. These people had been abducted by bandits in northwestern Nigeria. Uh, bandits is the term that Nigerians use for gangs, armed gangs. Excuse me. Uh, bandit is kind of an antiquated term. But uh, Samfara State Police spokesman Mohammed Shehu told reporters on Monday that the people had been rescued by the police in conjunction with other security agencies, according to Chad Infos. These people had been released in different states of Nigeria. These include in Niger, Katsina, and Zamfara states. I remember reporting uh, probably about these. I remember Zamfara uh, was in the news when it came, I think it was with uh, hostages uh, about mm, a week or two ago. They were rescued between Wednesday and Sunday, according to reports. So it's always good to hear when uh, we have a win when it comes to fighting the insurgents. So, you know, there's always so, you know, there's enough bad news about uh, innocent villagers being killed, or, uh, troops, be, uh, military personnel being um, uh, ambushed, you know, nine killed, things of that nature. So this is, this is really good news, and I, I like to report any time that uh, people get killed by the insurgents or when the insurgents get killed or when they surrender, etc. cetera, and, um, because it helps us to see what's going on, uh, to see if we're winning this, this fight against the African insurgency or, or if we're losing, and I, I really believe that uh, places like Mali, uh, there's another article I'm going over with Mali that's really good news today. I uh, went over one yesterday and the day before, so there's a lot of good news coming out of Mali. And um, um, obviously Nigeria has its hands full, but I think in the next year we're going to hear a lot of breakthroughs when it comes to the fight against the insurgency.